Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and of course, it is a wonderful day. Yes, and we're moving on to the next story for the day, and this one is on Chris Clown. And if you guys know Chris Clown, he's always making us laugh, but this time he's speaking some truth, and I really can't deny this. It's making a lot of sense on this one. So, according to Chris Clown, um, the wife plays an important role in the disbursement of funds to the respective family members. He wrote, "If your brother is married with kids and he still spends and take care of his siblings." and parents without any drama respect his wife she's the real mvp he wrote first i'd like to get your take no, on no, this no. oh okay i'll tell you uh yeah yeah sure i mean it's weird Nigerians are so weird our issues are so weird the fact that that's even like a conversation i don't know um yeah definitely i think this kind of conversation that you should have before mm. you get married as to how you want to take care of your family and all of that. I, I'm not aware that people struggle with this and that if the person doesn't take care of their family, then it's the wife's issue. Like, you're a grown man. I don't know. It's just Thank very you. weird to me. The whole thing is really weird. Okay, I can't so imagine how your wife would stop you from taking care of your siblings and your parents. Trust me, there's some women that do not want to keep calm when it comes to that, especially when they know that your siblings are also quite all right too. You understand? Well, and why are you taking care of your siblings that are quite all right? <laughs> as for me, I have the MVP wives in my family because yes, my brothers know that okay, this guy can get by, but some whatever you once in a while they just drop it in your account, not because mm. they owe you, not because they feel like you really need it, but because we have more than you and we're the elder ones. So mm. can I flex? <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. Like, especially on special days like my birthday, mm. or I'm planning to do something big, you know, just a token to support what you're yeah. doing. Do you understand? And so I get that a lot, and I'm, maybe because I'm the last child anyways, mm. but I, real, I really do have MVP wives. But like you said, a, a grown man, I don't think a woman should have a say in, but now this is where I think it's making a lot of sense. There are a lot of married people that have joint accounts that share their finances, right? Mm -hmm. And um, the moment you want to start taking out of this, because I don't think you would want to be taking out of the kids' school fees to send to your brother mm. or your parents. You don't want to be taken out of the money for the upkeep of the house to send to you. So whatever you're sending is from your own personal. So if one, Of course. So when I don't have personal and my mother needs or my dad needs or a family needs and I have to touch from this savings, yeah. then she has to be aware, right? Yeah, of, of, of course. I think fin finan financial... Um, the financial aspect of a relationship is very complicated, mm -hmm. right? Um, but I think a lot, of, a lot of this has to do with communication. And I think maybe that, that's why I was so taken aback by this statement because it's, it, it kind of made me feel like they did not talk about it. So it's mm -hmm. not a surprise, like, wow, you're letting me do this. Oh, my God, great. Because you're supposed to have that conversation. What kind of budget do we have? What are we working with? And how are we disposing of that? Mm. Because I was in a, I mean, my relationship so is... So people don't have that conversation, you know, they don't have a budget. That is so wild to just... me. That is very wild to me. Because even like, because, you know, my relationship is, uh, what's the word, uh, intercultural or whatever. And most people outside of the country don't actually mm. put too much emphasis on taking care of their siblings or mm. their parents sure. or their... Because everyone is okay. It's not as bad, it's not as bad as, as here. Nigeria, Do you yeah. know what I mean? So that's not really a conversation. So I remember in that the, was... In this one, it's not really have to be bad. It's called on jail more. Uh -huh. jail you see, more. all of that stuff. It's not... <laughs> but, you know, I had to make it very clear that whoever's mm. going to be in my life has to understand mm -hmm. that my family, my mother is very important. It's going to be a created budget for that. Mm. Um, but I was talking about that from my money. Now, if my money doesn't... Um, Cut it cut it then yes obviously you have to have that conversation but then it will still depend on can we even do that and i think that's maybe that's another thing that i don't think nigerians do very well like sometimes you see them helping their other siblings when things are hot hot inside yeah and then the wife true. is putting pressure then you're making her look bad but what she's trying to save is her family first the family that she's now got and for me oh, i'm sorry but that's my responsibility like the minute i leave home my family, my immediate family that I've created becomes number one. True. And then That's the other... should be. Yeah. So, um, you know, then, then there is that conversation of, can we actually give your brother for his birthday party right now when we have not paid light money and we have not paid mm. all of that stuff? Mm. But if it's based on sheer hate, like... Did you not see that before you married the woman that she doesn't want you to take care of her? Because you would have seen it. So I don't understand. Like, this conversation for me was just like, 
creepy. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Like, what are you people doing in your house? And he's come. It's also because he's um recently married, married. as well. It made me worry. Like, is that is a new about thing? His wife. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, it's a fantastic uh, news that she's not problematic, but like. Okay. Uh, no, shouldn't he have... from this, now, it's making it look like um, giving has become a problem. Uh. Yeah, like giving to siblings has become a... That's, that's, that's the tone I got from right. this, though. Not because he's not going through it. Right. Now, he's saying respect his wife. She's the real MVP. Ha. He's not saying... You understand, like, maybe the baba is trying to send money to his mom. And she's saying, darling... It's enough. <laughs> it's enough, babe. <laughs> what are you doing? You know? So, I don't know. I just think that... Um, People need to prioritize, like you said. Now, what are the basic things that your immediate family needs mm. first? That you know, I've handled all of this. Have you paid the children? Yes, I have. Have you paid the light? Mm. Yes, I have. Have you paid the estate? Yes, I have. All right, cool. Then yeah. we're good. You yeah. understand? But don't, well, not when I say yes, you're like, why are you always sending money to your yeah. brother? Why are you yeah. always sending money to your mom? That's... Why are you always sending money yeah. to your... Yeah. Yeah. Now, that one is a problem yeah. in itself. But... And guess what? <laughs> Women like that want you to... Um, siphon that money into to their, their own, own families, families account. Do you understand? They'll yeah. be like, no, and you sent 50k to your mom and you sent 30,000 euros to my hey, mom. Wow. How can you do that? My mom should get 50, your mom should get 30, your mom uh -huh. is okay, she still has a... They will give you stuff. I mean, well, well, you have to it. put it into context to be fair. Like, if my mom actually needs more money than your mom, then sure, let's give her more, more money. money. I've, I, it's, 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 what if it's constant? Like, your, my, my, your husband's but you mom's th th think, think about <laughs> it. If I marry somebody, a man, I will marry somebody who is in a bigger, you know, bigger financial capacity than me. Yeah. And maybe his family is like that. Yeah. So, I think already, my family will need have more needs than mm -hmm. his, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Um, and then that has to be put into c consideration as well. But mm -hmm. even then, I'm not, I don't think I'm one of those kind of people that, I'm, 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 my family's not like depending on me, so I guess it's a bit different, but I'm not even supposed to be giving my family money like every day, every day, every mm -hmm. day, like, oh my, I'll come try, I don't feel like giving anybody money that, that's like aid. It's, it, I'll give you more money to be able to stand on your own so you can mm -hmm. be doing it on your own mm -hmm. and stuff. Except for my mother, who is a lot like older and hen, I know that my mother is like, at some point, she'll be like my first child in mm. terms of responsibilities mm. and stuff. I think this conversation is about value. Marry someone who has the same value as you. Mm. Like that you see that you see the most important things the same. It is really important. True. If not, this conversation should not be coming as a surprise because you'll have known you would have dated. You'll have handled finances together. Like you would have known how that system kind of works. A woman that does not like me, I don't even like... I'm very frugal with my money. Mm. And I'm very frugal with I my know, partner's know, money as well. You will have known from day one that I'm not big on spending. If you're not telling me you want to give your your wife, your, your sister some ex big money that, you know, it's, it, it's going to be hitting our budget, you would know before we even get married that I would have complained about that. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So it's up to, like, are you people not talking to each other? Like, how is that brand new? All right, so let me ask you a question. How are you, how are you going to feel when you get married and then you have this type of husband that, man, all the siblings, you know, they just come and visit and they be like, ah, I know they go, I'm not going, they stay over. No, I wouldn't even I marry know, someone like that. I don't know come stays then you now have like three of his siblings in the house and then you are the one cooking and all I, 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 it won't happen if it <laughs> no but, but, not, but it, it happens no but it can't happen it to happens me it happens in this part of the world yeah but it can't happen to me it will not no. happen to me because we, be our relationship that no i said we will not what be, about christmas we will not season and ahead. then the whole family yes, comes over definitely. and then you guys are in the family definitely. house definitely i say your husband is the owner of the family house anyway, uh -huh. and then everybody christmas, meets christmas make it periodical see the relationship will not even finish between the marriage so your husband's brother cannot come unannounced no ways <laughs> he cannot just stroll in and say, I'm coming to see my brother. And sleep there overnight. Listen, yes. It's not his uh, brother's house. Um, it's not his brother's house. He can't. I mean, not like he can't. Like, but I, it's not proper. Your family, but I wouldn't like that. It's not something I would What about encourage. your sister? Say, I will beat my sister if she tries that. I'll send <laughs> yeah. her back home. Like, you, say, you see, see me, with me or personally, I'm very big on being with someone that can handle each family well like you have to be able to put mm. boundaries that respects both people like i wouldn't go to anybody's house unannounced it would be really important because if my family if your my husband's family is coming i have to prepare make sure that there's food make sure that the place is ready and all of that because they're not like 
a random person. Do you get know what I mean? I don't want to be thrown. Them you don't want to be seen as a bad person. I'm not, not that I don't want to be seen them. as a bad person. I want to treat my guests right. And for me to be able to do that, I have to be able to be, pre have to information. be prepared for that. You see, the problem about over familiarity is that it causes unnecessary tension. Mm. When you start coming unannounced and you come in the time where my husband and I are fighting or you come in the time where things are hard for us or, you know, you come in like weird times, you're creating opportunities for tension. Mm. It is good to just communicate some things. That's why I can never be with a man that doesn't have boundaries with his families i can't mm. even with me you have to put boundaries for me like there's some things i should not be able to do with your family mm -hmm. some things i should not be able to say some things are not my opinion mm. some things i should not you know what i mean like yeah, you have true. to be able to compartmentalize each man. person and put boundaries in there and my house my own future home i'm the madam of that place i need to know who's coming in when they're coming i'm not going to ever stop them and say oh you can't come if they don't stay for three months because there's a what downtime. What if it's a mansion and they, they're not in your way? Still, way? it doesn't matter. If, if, even if, you know. What if you have a chef, you have it a It does cook, not matter. See, it's not even about coming. You can come, just tell me. Even if you're staying for three months, you want to come and go to school from my house. That's fine. Just let me know. Just let me know. Hmm. And that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, like you guys heard from me, fair. You know, <laughs> make sure when you are coming to our house, please. If I'm, like me now, come and be spending weekend in your house. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, moving on to the next story real quick because we're running out of time. American rapper Ricky Ark, popularly known as Silento, has been charged for the mother of his cousin. According to Variety, the rapper is currently being held in the DeKalb County Jail. Ricky Ark was arrested for the mother of his cousin, Frederick Rooks, on January 21st. Um, the DeKalb County Police Department investigated Rooks' death after it was found shot on Deep Show Circle. Ock is the DeKalb County Jail. Um, Ock in the DeKalb County Jail charged with murder. Okay, now this is their statement. Ock is in the DeKalb County Jail charged with murder. We are DKPD, the tweet read. A representative for the DeKalb County Police Department said that they investigated the shooting on January 21st at approximately 3.30 a.m. after Rooks was found in the roadway suffering multiple gunshot wounds. Rook was pronounced dead at the scene after a thorough investigation. The de detectives identified Ock as Rook's cousin and the person responsible for Rook's murder. The Deckup County Police Department said in a statement, investigators are still working to uncover the motive for the shooting. Silento rose to prominence in 2015 after the release of a single, Now watch me wait, wait, now watch me in it, now watch me wait, wait. Oh, ah, if is the dance. Mm -hmm, yes, no. <laughs> Why are you guys not showing if I giving us some wait, wait It's mode? okay, it's okay. But wait, what's it, what's what's it going? What's what's going on with a lot of celebrities that the moment they begin to ah, uh, let's not call this one a celebrity. No, it's more, <laughs> it's more with celebrities, especially American celebrities. They always get run into one trouble or the other with the law the moment they start getting famous. Have you realized that? Have you noticed mm, that? I don't think that's what's happening. I think that America is. Americans, especially the black community, mm. are quite violent mm. in general. Mm. And while they're doing their violence, they which is, that which is I, I'll say that for a fact. If you look at where most of the night, most of the black people are in America, they're one of the poorest states, and the violence and the the injustice that happens there creates a lot of tension. And they're just it's not it's not rocket science. If you know anything about Americans or like the culture there, Bronx, New York, like that place reeks of violence. Just check out any American. You don't have to be there. Just check out. Any American movie, really. It's a cultural thing. Guns there are a lot more prominent. Um, um, violence, gangs are a lot more prominent. We have that in Nigeria as well, but I, I think ours is done a bit different. Like, we, we see them cut last and all of that and all of that. Mm. But there it's a lot more. I think the difference is that in America it's a lot more romanticized. Like, they're actually okay with it. Um, so, what happens is that a young bl black boy, an, an average young black boy, is in you know, some kind of um, mix with the bad crowd. And then on the side, they are hustling. Mm. Either that's in fashion or movies or music. So just because they not end up having a, a hit song does not, doesn't always take them out of the, the Bronx, out, out of the, what's it called, the violent state or whatever. Yeah. So it, they find a way, the violence still finds a way back to them, especially mm. if you're not someone that wants to remove themselves mentally as well. Some people actually want to blow. Like we have them in Nigeria as well. Some people sure. want to blow. They want to get out of poverty, but they don't want to get out of the lifestyle of thug, thuggery and street life but, but and all of that. But do you know why I'm into celebrities? Because I can bring it back home as well. You see a lot of the celebrities when they're trying to become stars, how humble they are, you know? 
how to speak with a lot of respect, how to go about the daily activities, you know. Kissing a lot of behinds, basically. Then the moment they become famous, they begin to threaten um, the, 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 the journalist, the I don't photographer, think that's, I don't think that's the, the, same the thing. influencer. I don't think the, we have the same problem as Americans. That, that's an arrogance thing that is very harmless. Americans have serious, like, I'm going to jail for years type of problems. Mm. I have um, um, unlicensed weapon. In my, how many, in my I've never heard of unlicensed weapon oh, wow. with, with Nigerian oh, wow. stars. I've never heard of them shooting their cousins. We do hear sometimes of cultist, cultist mm. clash. And you can, that's, a, that's a very clear example. If you stayed, if you were a cultist before you blew up, it yeah. will find you even in fame. And that's the same thing that's happening there. This guy has always been in that mix. He was in the news, I think maybe like eight months or last year, Sha, for chasing people with guns when he was looking for his girlfriend, mm. threatening people on the road that I'm going to kill you. Where's my girlfriend? Where's my girlfriend? This same, um, this same Salento guy. So he's not someone that is far away from violence or like far away from using guns and stuff. I just don't know how you would now and then shoot your cousin. I don't know. But so what do you think uh, makes, you know, family turn against each other to the point where they start shooting each other, you know, cousins? That's That's, that's wild. Imagine, because, yeah. that, you know, the way I thought about it was like my brother and I will have kids and then they kill, one of them kills each other. Did you get? Like, like, that's wild. That's really wild. It's really so, wild. I just hope we're able to find out the motive from this guy if it's not going to be one of those sides. The last I even checked, know? there wasn't even any reports in regards to... Motive. Um, not even connection to the story. So there were there were speculations and he's been arrested, but hasn't mm. actually been said as to the how he who, was connected. Like, was he the one who actually shot the cousin? Yeah, I, I think oh, so. No, well, he's he responsible been. for the mother. So if he's responsible. No, it could be an alias to, well, to the well, mother. Well, let's, let's see how that goes. Eight gunshots. Like, do you think he did eight gunshots at his cousin? I think he pulled out a gun and shot his cousin. Pa, 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 pa. Um, <laughs> multiple right. gunshots but anyways we gotta go we're running out of time but um yeah i need to wrap thank you for watching join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or twitter does at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on our previous episodes including this one and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on auto tv and in london of course on ben television a big thank you will go out to my co-anchor if you omai and of course the entire production team thank you for watching watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshunkeye.